I think that it is the biggest uh, economic project at this moment uh, in the world. I want to see the results of this, uh, of this project. I think it is a very good initiative which increases the uh, quality of the life of the people in the third world. The Belt and Road has made a lot of achievements on the African continent. There are a number of major projects in East Africa, in Mombasa to Nairobi, Arail. In West Africa, we've seen a lot of achievements in terms of uh, major infrastructure, uh, electricity, uh, hydro, and uh, there are a lot of uh, more projects coming. In my country, uh, my, my capital, Accra, we've seen uh, a massive you know, inner city road you know, rehabilitation, which is all from uh, investment and, and of course uh, support from the Chinese government. Now we have power generation uh, plant in my country, which is all uh, uh, investment driven from, from China. All right, so these are critical infrastructure that we need as a country to be able to transform our economy. Uh, when it comes to ports, when it comes to uh, infrastructure that has been developed, so um, people are benefiting, uh, you can see from the highways especially, uh, now we have a, a highway from uh, going to the south of Sri Lanka, uh, which other countries uh, you know, fail to deliver to Sri Lanka. So especially I want to highlight the road projects, which has been a huge success. The most important thing is uh, the Belt and Road has uh, generated more intense cooperation, especially in uh, discussion, in dialogue, in promoting consultation between the two sides. And uh, in terms of tangibles, it has uh, considerably scaled up our infrastructure connectivity within the country and within the region. You know, we have a seaport, we have a railway lines linking one section of the country and the other. We have uh, power plants that is generating more electricity and uh, triggering a whole lot of economic activities, uh, boosting employment and generating uh, uh, much more returns to the national economy. In part because it has provided alternatives to what had failed previously and it's been able to achieve in 10 years what most of the world, especially the developing world, could not achieve in 50 years. It's been so transformative that uh, the, the, the contribution to the GDP, as well as the ability to create and generate employment for young people has been immense, and that is something that's appreciated by most of the citizens.